Originally, I went to Ontario College of Art and Design. So I've always been a very creative person. Going there, I didn't know exactly what I was going to get into, but I was always very much into painting and sculpting and, and just sort of creative outlets in general. I decided to do um, advertising because I thought, you know, I can get a job in advertising and something lucrative and I can make money and can still be creative. And then I did a, a year in advertising and thought, no, this is not for me. I knew I wanted to be my own boss, so I, I wanted something where I could be entrepreneurial and I just felt like in advertising it would take, you know, 20 years before I was a creative director and and so I was a little bit lost at, the, at that point and I decided to take a, a summer jewellery making class just for fun. I thought I would enjoy it and, and just sort of let my brain melt a little bit and, and do something very creative and try and figure out what I wanted to do and as soon as I did it I sort of fell in love with it and, and I knew right away that this was what I was going to do. So that was my, that was the beginning. And then I did four years in jewelry and metalsmithing and then started my own business in my last year of, of school there. And 10 years later, here I am. So if I'm doing a custom piece, I'll meet with my clients and we chat a little bit about what they're looking for. Often I ask to see pictures of the individual I'm designing for if they're not sitting in front of me. Um, it really gives me a good idea of, of sort of their style and I tend to be fairly good at reading people. So I think that also helps. Usually I come up with a couple different concepts, run that by the client, and then basically I build a wax model and whether I do that by hand or through a computer rendering design program depends on how intricate the, the actual piece is. And then from there it goes to my casting house and it's cast in the metal and then it comes back to me and it's cleaned and stones are set and polished and all the finishing happens at that point and then I present it to the client. I think that it's important really to design for the person so that the piece that they're wearing sort of just becomes a part of them. I think the jewelry is very personal and I also think especially if it's a wedding band or an engagement ring, if that person is planning on wearing that ring every day for the rest of their lives, it needs to speak to them and it needs to feel comfortable on their hands. So my main goal is to do something that's a little bit different. So incorporating traditional elements but with a twist or incorporating you know elements from another culture but with a twist so that it always still becomes my own. I think the fact that I've survived 10 years doing this as a small business on my own and sort of starting from scratch and and figuring it out along the way is uh, is a big accomplishment to me and I think nowadays people are really into custom. They want to make it very individual. I think whether it's you know your shoes or your clothes or your wedding ring, I think custom is a trend right now. And I don't think it's one that's really gonna go away either.